All right, welcome back to KSP. So I think it was like a week ago, I sent a pencil rocket to Duna and it got me thinking, and some people also commented this, well, I should send a pancake rocket somewhere. Kind of the exact opposite. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be sending a pancake rocket to places pancakes really shouldn't be. So let me demonstrate real quick. So for example, you know, we have this lander can you know, whatever, nothing frivolous, but, um, see, instead of attaching stuff, like, you know, we can't do that. What we can do is we get like some of these fuel tanks or something, and we just slap it on the sides in each direction like this. We do that around the entire rocket and then, like basically our staging will just look like this. It's, um, kind of ridiculous looking. By the way, this rule also includes engines, so I can't have engines on the bottom either. I have to have side mounted engines to actually power this thing. Kind of ridiculous, but you know. I'm gonna see how far we get with just like something simple like this. Simple pancake rocket. Nothing crazy as our uh, pancake rocket. <laughs> actually, not that bad. It's just not really aerodynamic. Yeah, this thing is like flying a brick wall. Like, we had 3,500 meters a second on the launch pad. Honestly, all things considered, we don't really get that far with all this fuel. Um, it flies really well. It's actually really easy to control. It's just the drag this thing produces is ridiculous. Let's see what happens. If that's so much drag, it might just tank it. Like, genuinely, it might just, like, just land with drag. Kind of ridiculous how much drag the, ooh, oops, how much drag this thing has. I bet if we like lean these tanks towards the end, we can probably survive this. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, let's get a little more risky with it. Of course, we want to actually go somewhere with this, so we're gonna add on a lot more fuel tanks. But honestly, with this new stage, it actually starts to look more like a pancake. I guess it's it's more round. It looks more proper, but it still looks ridiculous. So, but overall, it gets us a lot further with this new stage. It looks a little wonky though, but it's... look at this thing. <laughs> looks ridiculous already. Like a flying saucer. Get it in the shadow. <laughs> Let's go. Of cartwheel. I didn't realize until now how loud and annoying the engine sound. So I want to apologize in advance, but we do get a lot further with this new stage. And it actually looks pretty cool, all things considered, I guess. Oh, actually that was fine. Like weirdly perfect. Oh, sick. You keep going, man. Oh, uh, the pancake's on fire. I think it's a, uh, the oven's a little toasty today. I guess pan. I mean, I cook my pancakes on a pan. They're called pancakes, you know. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe some of you weirdos cook it in an oven. You never know. Pancake. You got like, like bacon. Oh well, no, you don't bake bacon. You cook bacon. You bake cookies, but you well, cook whatever. It's not important. <laughs> you just you just get the orbit. You stop talking about this random bullshit, Jacob, please. Why does it shake violently? Just intensely just gyrating. Pancake in space, bro. This is so tough. Well, oh, that's orbit. I wonder if we can survive re entry, just like, you know, burn rest for fuel, enter the atmosphere at night. We have an idea how to spin. Wait, what? It actually worked. <laughs> what? This thing just creates so much drag. It's, it's like its own like parachute, pretty much. Oh shit. Oh. Hey, <laughs> W. Nice. After seeing that it can go to orbit easily, I wanted to actually get somewhere with this. So I decided to slap on four absolutely massive solid rocket boosters. Technically, this, this isn't against the rules. It follows all the rules of the challenge. It's attached to the sides. So. It's allowed. It's allowed. I'm gonna slap on those. I don't care. 
Let's just launch this weird bogus rocket. All right, this is the evolved pancake. Pancake V3. It's just uh, more and more crowded every time I look in their first person view. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have put the most powerful solid fuel boosters on the rocket and slap them up because it gets heated. The cockpit's gonna explode. Oh crap. What did we just lose? Solar panels? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, we got our orbit. <laughs> This is a ridiculous orbit. After an absolutely atrocious ascent and orbit, we get an actual very easy MUN encounter. So we just, you know, swoop by the MUN for a nice chill landing, pretty much. You know, nothing too frivolous, as I like to say. I don't think we're going to tip over. I think that's not, not going to be an issue this time. I think, I think we'll be okay. If we somehow tip over after we land, then there's something seriously wrong with my piloting. I hate to do this, but during this uh, descent, like halfway through, my footage corrupts and then low key, I lose everything after this. Well, I have to redo like everything. So sorry about the unexpected cut. Okay, so I'm on the moon. Um, So if you're wondering about the cut, after that moment when I was about to land, my OBS decided to stop recording and then didn't tell me until after I finished my entire recording session Anyway, here we are on the MUN, again. <laughs> anyway, let's go plant our flag. The MUN got pancaked, here we go. But anyway, here we are planting our flag on the MUN. The MUN got pancaked. <laughs> or something, I don't know. But if you thought we were only going to the MUN, you would be mistaken. We're going straight to Minmus next, like just straight shot, Mun to Minmus. And it's also a little surprise after Minmus too. Colonize the Mun, now we're gonna colonize Minmus. Watch TS. Analyze TS. Where's Minmus? There it is. You're getting pancake next, buddy. You can get pancakes slobbered all over your face. Oh yeah. All the syrup too, just rubbing it all over you, Minmus. <laughs> yeah, any anyway, after whatever that was. Um, we get a pretty simple Minus orbit, <laughs> even though it's polar, it's kind of weird, but we just go straight shot from like orbit to surface. So it doesn't really matter that much. What is that? Is that the Mun? Oh, that's Kerbin. Why is Kerbin? Wait, whoa. Why is Kerbin back to its basic graphics? <laughs> you see it? It's, there's no graphics on it. Like no good graphics. What happened? No, we're like on the beach. <laughs> on the beach of Minmus. You're a beach. You're a beach. And boom, he's on slide. There we go, boom. We're on Minmos, Minmos. Minmos has officially been pancaked. Well, actually not officially yet. We need to get Jeb out here with his uh, pancakeinator. Oh yeah, the cinematic flag planting. Boom, Minmos, you've been pancaked. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so freaking tough. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I say we, uh, you know, it'd be a waste of fuel to just go home. That's my thought process, right? I mean, I was talking with Jeb, you know, hitting him up on the on the phone, on the telly, telly phone. And he was like, hey, if you send me home, it's a waste of fuel and I'm quitting. So we're going to actually, we're going to... We're gonna take them somewhere else with this fuel. Yeah, this mystery place I keep gatekeeping is a uh, jewel. We're going to one of Jewel's moons. That's the whole thing we're doing here. So we're just doing a basic jewel transfer window, whatever, tidal gravity assist. Y you know the drill. Wait, there we go. I'm gonna fix it on the way because it's jewel. <laughs> Can I get a tidal encounter, please? Something. Wait. There's one. Coming in from the other side of Jewel, though. It's kind of... Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Erection. I'm going to clockwise, but I don't like that. But 
I mean, what other choice do I really have here? Yeah, coming in clockwise like this with Tylo's gravity, just, it's a bad mix. I wouldn't recommend doing this. That is straight out of dual system. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's try to fix this. I'm coming in clockwise. I, it's just screwed me no matter what. How much does it just slow down? More than I can afford. Okay, let's go back. All right, Tylo, help a brother out. Help a brother out. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much help. I don't want to slam into Jewel. <laughs> I just... That's fine. Whatever. Let's crack a lack in that Jewel. Where even is Jewel? Oh, way out there. Good old watermelon planet. What's up, big boy? Yeah, so me personally, I don't want to crash into Jewel at like a thousand million meters a second. So I'm going to fix my orbit real quick. Oh, wait, we're actually really close to encountering Lathe right now. All right, sick. So now all we have to do is set up our Lathe encounter and then land on Lathe. Easy as pie, right? You'd think it'd be just the easiest thing ever. Simple, you know, we just, oh, you know, slow down in the orbit and then it is way worse than I thought it was going to be. You know what's funny? The first time I did this, I had, it was it was literally the most perfect mission of all time. I easily went to Lathe, and that was it. That was the end of the mission. Now it is so much more difficult. <laughs> yep, I'm putting myself straight into the atmosphere. I don't care anymore. Jeb, you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Nah, we're just, we're just arrow breaking. We're arrow breaking, bro. Trust. Oh, hey, Lathe, what's up? <laughs> oh, you're close. Wow, 7,000 meters a second. Why is it so high? This is gonna be the fastest burn up of a lifetime. Maybe if we spin fast enough, we can just counteract it. Somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna. Well, volcanoes. There goes the pancake. Um, after getting an actual proper Tylo gravity assist, and then with just enough fuel to orbit Jewel, we actually try to deorbit again at a more reasonable speed of 2,000 meters a second. But this is literally all I did was just spin like this. And it's, it's low-key goaded. Like, this is the strat, like high-key. Pancake craft is top 10, uh, top 10 mines craft. It's like so tough. And like I said, it just tanks every deorbit without a heat shield. Except for the one where we're going 7,000 meters a second. That's, that was too much, even for the pancake. Try to slow down as much as I can. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, here we are. Good old Lathe. All by ourselves. Waves are really intense though, jeez. We got Jeb and Bill are cooked. They're not getting, not really gonna get home. All alone on this lonely moon. Around lonely old Jewel up there. But yeah, that was the Pancake Rocket. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, stay awesome. Stay cool. Thank you for watching. You're my goat. Have a good night.